Hey everybody, I am Jonathan Goltz. I'm living currently in Queenstown, New Zealand, originally from America and been down here for five years. Um, me and my wife are down here um, staffing, doing DBSs as well as part of the leadership team at the base. And I did my DBS in Kona in, oh, what year was it? 2016 and uh, brought a crew out there and then brought the school back to New Zealand and pioneered it in April 2017 and we've done multiple courses since and uh, yeah at the last conference they asked if I wanted to be a part of the international leadership team and so it's just been an awesome time journeying with these guys and figuring out DBS obviously I love this school and um, just super excited to have you guys in the conference um, and so I kind of oversee the Pacific region um, yeah so if you're from the Pacific shout out um, so what I'm going to talk about, one of the uh, parts of DBS I just want to share the heart on a little bit is the one-on-ones. Um, and so I think the biggest thing, the reason, you know, what separates DBS from a lot of the other Bible schools in YWAM? Well, it's the first word, right? And the first letter in D, discipleship. Discipleship is what really makes the DBS different from any other Bible school. And so in order to really ensure that discipleship was happening, one of the things we wanted to implement was the one-on-one, -on -one, right? And one is a follow-up to the DTS, right? Discipleship Training School, um, as well as just further growth and further, yeah, I think journeying on people's walks. Um, yeah, and so one of the main ways we want to make sure that discipleship is getting done is through one-on-ones. And so we want to make sure that as DBS internationally that we are valuing one-on-ones. Um, <clears throat> so I think I was looking at some of the YWAM values and I wanted to share those of why, why we do one-on-ones uh, from a YWAM international perspective. Um, and so the first one that uh, came to mind was value number 13, which is be relationship oriented. Um, and I'll just read what that one says. It says YWAM is dedicated to being relationship oriented in our living and working together. We desire to be united through lives of holiness, mutual support, transparency, humility, and open communication rather than a dependence on structures or rules. So if our sole focus was homework, then we'd kind of miss the picture of being relationship oriented. And so that's why we wanna incorporate things like like one-on-ones is so that we make sure we focus on relationships. Um, we're committed to discipleship through relationships, not just through you know our homework or putting on rules or base structures or small groups, but really intentional one-on-ones. Um, and so I think this is something like a value that we need to really protect um, rather than it just kind of being a throwaway thing that we're like, oh yeah, one-on-ones, we need to make sure, you know, sometimes it's easy to put those to the end of the week or forget about them because it's not as urgent as getting someone's homework back or maybe admin. But I think with the value of being relationship oriented, we need to rethink that and take that step back and be like, even though maybe this isn't a task or an admin task that I need to get done. We need to value one-on-ones in our schools in order to in order to be a part of this thing that is YRM, which is being relationship oriented. Um, the next value actually is value 14 that I really thought was important for why we do one-on-ones and it's value the individual. And this is, uh, it says, YRM is called to value each individual. We believe in equal opportunity and justice for all. Created in the image of God, people are of all nationalities, ages, and functions have distinctive contributions and callings. We are committed to honoring God-given leadership and ministry gifts in both men and women. And so obviously, um, each we all know and we teach that every every individual is unique and learns differently, right? You know, some people are kinesthetic, some people are visual, some people learn through hearing. Um, and I think it's the same way in groups, you know, some of our students really love that lecture time and they get the most out of lectures and, you know, small groups and one-on-ones, it's not so much. Some people, it's that small group aspect that's really important. That's what they take away. And for some people, really the one-on-ones are that place to really grow and really take what they're learning and process it and talk to a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and maybe not even what they're learning, but just life, you know, what is, what is this going on in my life? Apply to God's word and you know, walking with someone who's journeyed a little bit more, what does this look like? And so, you know, maybe for you, you learned a lot through lectures or small groups, but just because that's how you learn doesn't mean that's how everyone learns. And so I think in order to value individuals, we really want to foster a place for 
for one-on-ones and that being said you know some some one-on-ones you know I'm a guy so I've had some guy one-on-ones where you know it's only 15 minutes and they're like yeah I'm good you know I'm learning and God's doing this and that's it and you know maybe that individual you know some girls I know that they'll talk for two or three hours even guys you know they'll talk for a while and some people need that and so it doesn't even within valuing the individual we don't have to set a rule okay we have to go for an hour even if you go for 20 minutes or 30 minutes that's fine as long as we're making sure to sit down with everyone and value that time um yeah another value that i really wanted to bring up was value number six <clears throat> champion young people ym is called the champion youth we believe god has gifted and called young people to spearhead vision and ministry we are committed to value them trust them train them support them make space for them and release them They are not only the church of the future, they are the church of today. We are committed to follow where they lead in the will of God. And so, obviously, it's easy for people in groups to get glossed over. It's easy for people, and even in small groups, you know, just to be quiet and be shy and hide maybe the gold that they're having. And I think one-on-ones are really a time for our staff to sit down and look and see the gold inside of people and call that forward and really champion that and bring that to the school leader and be like, Hey, this person's really gifted in this. And as much as we can within the structure of DBS really champion people. Um, And I think lastly, uh, the last value I wanted to share, which um, I know we have people tuning out around from all over the globe, but I think this is more for school leaders and also those who maybe have been in a lot of DBSs, but is value number 12, which is do first then teach. And uh, my wife, I think she she phrased this really well. She said, I don't know if I like the way that's worded. I really like teach as you do. And I think what whichever way you like, do first then teach or teach as you do. Um, I think as school leaders and as leaders in the DBS, we need to, you know, do first and then teach. And so we need to be living this value of one-on-ones valuing individuals. Um, what are the other ones? Championing young people and being relationship oriented and doing that first and then so our staff pick up on it and you know when a leader leads out in it then it automatically trickles down and so if we want one-on-ones to be valued in our schools i think the best way is for our leaders to lead out on it so um yeah that's what i wanted to share and i know um one-on-ones have been an amazing time for me i'm a verbal processor and so i always look forward to on my dbs i had someone who was really really good at making sure we had one-on-ones once every week and um, he would just sit there and listen and I just got to talk and that's what I needed and you know some people need a little bit more some people will come with questions and I think just an encouragement to us all is we don't have to have all the answers even though we're staffing bible schools you know even if we're (laughs) sometimes we've had the uh, the situations on our schools where maybe people who are staffing DBS or staffing, like their students on the school were staff on other schools. Like they staff their DTS, but now they're staff over them on their DBS. And it's a bit awkward. And I think that's okay, right? Because even at the end of the day, we just want a place for students to process, to value that, to give them that opportunity. Um, But that doesn't mean you have to have all the answers. That doesn't mean you have to know everything. And just to have all the Bible answers, that's totally okay. We just want to give them a space to process. And so, yeah. I love one-on-ones and I hope you guys catch a heart for it. So good to have you here.